All right, here we go. The big feature of the day, the grade three Delaware Oaks going a mile and a 16th for some of the best three-year-old fillies in the country right here today at Delaware Park. Frank Best, you know him from the racing biz. His picks have been up every race all meet long. Here he is to help me handicap the Oaks. Hey, Stan, good to be with you. And isn't it fun to see these kind of fillies showing up here in Delaware for this race? You get fillies coming from all over the place, a lot out of recent graded company. It's really a nice race they put together here. It's the beautiful place where the big names race. Let's check out the field here, the one foggy night for trainer Butch Reed. Butch Reed's won a race here this meet. This three-year-old filly is by Kozan the Dam. She won five times. She made over 138,000. This filly had a nice uh, six-length win last out against Allowance Company at Parks going seven furlongs. Got a 70 by her speed figure. She might be part of the early pace today. She gets a 94 early time form rating. I didn't use her, but you get Paco Lopez, who's won two races today. So Paco, he's having a big day. He's on the one foggy night. And if there is a, a big early pace, that might help the number two cover the spread trained by Brittany Russell. Fergal Lynch up. He's been riding sort of selectively, but, but very well when he does. This horse was a little bit slow away from the gate last time out in an allowance at Pimlico, but then one for fun. Makes her second start off a little bit of a layoff here. All right, the three, Opus 42 for trainer Arnaud Delacour, three-year-old daughter of Mendelssohn, the dam by Lemon Drop Kid, one of my favorites. The dam won a couple races, made 74,000. This filly had a nice win against Stakes Company last January down there at Tampa, going seven furlongs, and then regressed a little bit in that February stake down there at Tampa, and then they threw her to the Wolves in that grade two Beaumont at Keeneland. She's been freshened up since then, Daniel Centeno, our second leading rider, rides today for Delacour. They tried the blinkers on in the Beaumont. They take the blinkers back off today, so that might help. But you're going to get a decent price here on the three. Opus 42 with one of our leading riders right now, 17-1 to here on Opus 42. Your three to five favorite at the moment is the four horse fire line for trainer Chad Brown. This is a filly by Arrogate out of the grade two winner High Ridge Road. Has impressed in her last two. Broke her maiden by 13 lanes and six of seven. A run back out of that race. Finished one, two, three. Their next start came back. Her first start of this season, one and A other than pretty nicely up at Belmont Park. Makes her second start off a layoff. Currently three to five on the line. All right, no surprise. A well-bred filly there for Chad Brown. The five bow pull is my top pick in this spot. Frank, it's your top pick as well. Luis Rodriguez rides here for trainer Rob Atros, three-year-old filly by Uncaptured. The dam was over two, but the second dam was better, made over, over 100,000. And this filly had a real nice win on a sloppy track late April at Aqueduct. One by three and three quarters that day, sat just off the pace and then got to the front and one going away with a big 84 buyer speed figure. That gave the connections the confidence to try the grade two Black Eyed Susan, which came up pretty tough. Trainer Brittany Russell has two in here. She was commenting how tough the Black Eyed Susan was. She was in that race. So I think Balpool had a respectable showing in the Black Eyed Susan. This filly likes to lay close, and she was kind of uh, thrown off her game in the Black Eyed Susan. She got bumped coming out of the gate and steadied early. That took her off the, that took her far back. She likes to be a little bit closer. I think she'll be closer today. I think that the grade two Black Eyed Susan was real tough, so she's coming out of a salty race, and Frank, we're getting a nice big eight to one on our top pick. Yeah, if you see two guys running to the windows after this, it's Stan and I going to get eight to one on Bell Pool. The six horses out here, Promise Her America, she's a scratch. The seven horse fast tracked for Arno Delacour, won an allowance last time out. Drifted out kind of badly in the stretch, but otherwise it was a pretty nice performance. They went very fast early in that race and she stayed on willingly. So pretty good effort for fast track. She's the daughter of cross traffic. Out of a stakes winning mare named Slow and Steady, who I believe raced here for Gary Capuano at times. Jorge Ruiz, who just won the, won the uh, Robert G. Dick Memorial in the last race. He's got the mount on fast track. And I saw a bloodstock agent, Bill Reitler here. He's connected here with this Philly bike cross traffic. I know this family a little bit. I know that mare, slow and steady from Maryland. She won four times, made over 100,000. The second dam was pretty good too. And there's a bunch of siblings that have made a bunch of money here for the seven fast track. The eight miracle is your morning line favorite in this race. Trevor McCarthy rides for trainer Todd Pletcher. Pletcher won this race in 2006 with a do. <laughs> Trevor McCarthy 
won this race in 2014 with Fortune Pearl. Miracle ran a real big second against Grade 2 Company at the fairgrounds last February and then didn't run. Well, had a trouble trip in the Grade 2 uh, Gulfstream Oaks uh, April 1st down there at Gulfstream. But she got back in good form late May up at Belmont against New York Bread, st st State Bread Stakes Company that day. A real good second with a 79 buyer speed figure. She figures to be, to be part of the early pace here for strong connections. She's Three to one morning line. Looks like you're going to get a little value on the eight miracle with all the money going for the Chad Brown filly. Yeah, that was a pretty nice effort downtown mischief. The winner last time, a pretty nice horse. The nine horse is your current long shot at 30 to one. That's Cats in the Timber. Another one for Brittany Russell. Jeremy Rose has the mount. She also comes out of the great two black-eyed Susan over Preakness weekend at Pimlico. Ran kind of an even six that day. That might have been little bit of, of a heavy lift for her. Prior, she had won the Weber City Miss at uh, Laurel Park, the local prep for the Black Eyed Susan. She's going to be sitting a few lights off of it, trying to make, trying to run them all down late. I like this filly a little bit. I, <clears throat> I use her in the trifecta. This is the local horse. She's been training here at Delaware all spring and summer long for your leading trainer, Brittany Russell, who's hitting at 35%. This filly had a nice two-year-old campaign last year here at Delaware, broke her maiden in a maiden special eight. They gave her a little time off and she was doing well down there at Maryland. Brittany Russell was saying in the press release that she thought that Black Eyed Susan was real tough and she thought this filly ran pretty credible in there. So we'll see how she comes out of there. Interesting enough, the, the dam never ran and the second dam didn't run, but she's well-bred, so homebred for Haymet Market Farm. She's by a, a $20,000 sire in honor code, and, and she's done pretty well so far for a mare that never ran, a second dam that never ran, and she's a three-time winner. She's made 155000 Well, and, and Stan, I, I kind of feel like if you like Balpool, and we both do, she was beaten nine lengths in the Black-Eyed Susan. This horse was beaten 10, so... There's not that much difference from that last race between them, and one of them's 7-1 to one on the line currently. The other's 25, this one being the one that's 25, so might be finding a little bit of value there. Absolutely. And you get Jeremy Rose. He's having a good meet. Rose and Russell hitting at 32%. And uh, the opening week stake we had here, you had that, that heavy favored morning matcha shipping in from Parks that got beat by the local horse that was training here over this track for Jerry Robb. So... Cats in the Timber liked it here last year as a two-year-old. It's been working well here. A bullet half-mile work June 17th right here at Delaware, 49 flat. So good value on the leading trainer of the meet with a horse that has done well here at Delaware in trains here. So there she is, Cats in the Timber at a big 25 to 1. But all the early money continues to roll in here on fire line. The dam was a good one, and this filly's by arrogance, so she was bred to be a real nice filly. And that 88, we'll see if she can back that 88 buyer speed figure last out. We'll see if she can back that up against grade three company today. You're absolutely right. And if you feel like she's beatable at three to five, there's value all over the place if you're not on her. All right, we got a riders up here for the grade three Delaware Oaks, three to five right now on the four fire line. We're 11 minutes out for today's feature. Good luck. <laughs> 